Let's do the astrology for May 2024. Thank you for joining me. May is a time of celebration and dance. All the animals are building nests and doing all their mating rituals. Mankind is feeling that life force bubbling up inside and it feels like a powerful month to rekindle those fires and to purify us from the cold, harsh winter energy and renew our bonds to those we love. This is the month for Beltane a celebration where the rules are loosened and passions are given permission to flow and explore. We are being given permission to rejoice in just being human and feeling alive. The beginning of this month is perfect to release old stuck energy and throw those past expectations into the fire to be released into the light and the air of the coming season of fertility. It is time to shed that old fur and let what is new to come forth. May 2nd. May 2nd, Pluto will go into retrograde, and while we have enjoyed the progressive and powerful shifts that have been rapidly unfolding since January 20th of this year, now there is an intensifying of the energy. The air of Aquarius is moving towards the earthy energy of the sign of Capricorn. The air will feel as if it's becoming heavy and dense. We will have to sincerely look at the nature of how we see power and how that power is used, either because of our own insecurity and to protect us from the truths that we deny, or if we have become the victim of power that has been actively, has been being actively used against us. Regardless of which position you are in, we are going to have to address it in new ways. We are going to be moving into the last and final transition of Pluto and Capricorn on September 1st through November 19th. No matter what, we are going to have to pay the piper. May 6th. May 6th, Saturn will semi-square with Pluto. It will do this two more times, one on September 24th and finally on January 26th, 2025. Let's just say we are going to see complicated games that powerful people want to play become blaringly obvious. While this was what they did not want us to see, it is what we need to see. And I expect it to be quite unpleasant. Circumstances will continue to plague the powerful and the wealthy, even as they tr as they twist and turn, trying to escape the clutches of karma. But she has a strong and firm grip, and no one will really escape. Those that continue to play the old games are going to discover that everyone, and I mean everyone, is now beginning to see through their strategy, and the circumstances will not go in their favor. May 7th. May 7th, there is a new moon in Taurus. Seems much is coming, much is beginning, and much will be expected of us. We will be asking ourselves the questions, what will really make us happy? Money is good, but it will not be enough. Security is great, but it will not feel stable enough. We should be concentrating on our own senses, sense of self and find ways to value our uniqueness. Nature is calling to us. We need to come to our senses, and I mean our five senses. We need to smell the fresh air, touch the ground, watch with the wind through the trees while we marvel at the diversity and flavors in life and be willing to finally heal by allowing in wholeness. This Taurus new moon wants us to keep things simple and get back to the basics. We have to learn to embrace what life offers when it offers it. It calls to our sensibilities. If we want comfort, then we need to know what will make us feel comfortable. Notice if you are doing what feels right for you. If not, then you will need to make a change that is long lasting and worthwhile. The more we connect to the earth, the less we will feel stressed by the actions of others. We seek, we seek stable changes that will allow us to grow and become more innovative. And we will need to have patience because most things will feel new and at times scary. But just because it is new does not mean it is bad. In fact, this new thing could be the answer you have been seeking all along. May 23rd, there is a full moon in Sagittarius. The routines need to change. We are different, and now we need things in our external reality to reflect that internal shift. It is time to recognize how the mind will love to make a mountain out of a molehill. It is time to take the reins off the mind and not allow it to carry us off the cliffs of fear. Everything needs to be balanced and more in proportion to what is real. This full moon is connecting positively to Neptune and Pluto. Seems that our good luck might be holding for a bit longer. 
best to use this energy and finish up those details that have required so much time and effort. Jupiter will sextile to Neptune. We are ready for something to inspire us and to break us out of so much stuckness. Humanity could begin to look less antagonistic and more insightful. May 25th. Jupiter will finally go out of Taurus and into Gemini. It will be there until June 9th, 2024. We are learning a lot from that point on. Science becomes more valued and respected. Intellect and education are favored over opinions and intentional disrespectful attitudes. A quick and kind wit are going to be greatly respected over the next year. We curiously want to notice what is happening and are more sincere in our approach. Just remember to rein in your thoughts at times in favor of concrete actions that need to be taken. Don't bite off more than you can chew or swallow. This could feel like getting hit with a water cannon. It may feel as if there are suddenly too many options and not enough time. Keep things simple. Get help when necessary. Don't think you have to do everything yourself. If you will allow others in you are and are willing to pay them, you will discover the money that you need to get them done will be there. Certain things that seem not doable will now feel more attractive and possible. Know that you will need to find how to encourage discourse and learn to listen to those new options. Thanks, everyone.